third date is going amazing. So I wanted to jump on and basically just film on my doll head today. Please don't laugh at this janky little setup I got going on. When I was in beauty school, I did have a tripod, but I think I lent it to a friend for her to take look straight forward afterwards. And I figured, well, what do I need this for? So now that I really would love to practice when I'm just kind of in the mood, I got a little creative and tied her down. <laughs> so I am actually trying to do a balayage with oils. She's such a good starting canvas. I have done some previous lightener on her, if you guys can see those like lights going on. So I ended up teasing this back section and I'm just going to saturate the very top layer and then if it gets on another hair, great. If not, that's kind of what my main focus is, is just to saturate that very first top layer, not worry about underneath and go from there. I am going to put this in a foil, so follow along. When I'm sectioning for balayage or foilage, I try to do like a diagonal, then a straight, and then the opposite diagonal. So if I do diagonal forward, I'll do diagonal back, and vice versa. And then I always tease up the section so that it will minimize any type of harsh line. You guys have seen them. A lot of color corrections come in with someone who accidentally didn't know how to do that part, or maybe a foil just cut it too much. Whatever the case is, or the person really did it at home, who knows. So I lightly, I actually left it looking a little cottage cheesy up top. And I don't know, I had a good old time practicing on the doll head. That's what was so fun is like, I wasn't worried about, you know, the lightener working too fast or anything. Since our ends were already lifted, I didn't just, I don't know, it was just really fun. I didn't worry. <laughs> Best client ever, she didn't even talk back. No, I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, I just kind of put this in the foil and then I worked throughout the head. So if you guys keep watching what section I'll do next. Was definitely too thick so I did split this into two sections just FYI that is just the way I was going to go about this little technique that I was trying on this little gal here <laughs> which is by Joyco. I labeled it in the beginning. I tried it on my mom and her highlights turned out very well. We didn't tone them. She does like a root touch up as well to cover gray. So I kind of just merge all that color in with her highlights and they kind of tint them a little bit, but she's got such short hair and her hair lifts so fast, it's fine. We don't really worry about toning in a lot. So I've always kind of done that with her and she was obsessed with the way I did her hair this last time. And I weaved her entire hair like highlights instead of just slicing them because I get lazy. But she like loved it and I was like so excited. So anyways, that was always nice to finally please my mother after being a hair sale for six years. And I was kind of obsessed with this lightener. I didn't stir all the way. I don't have a whisk at home, so my bad. I was just kind of using the brush, which is like, eh. You know, obviously I'm just practicing, so it's not a big deal, but on a real client, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. So. I just want you guys to be mindful of that. At the front, you want to leave out her little hairline right there so that when they put their hair back, they don't feel all crazy with their balayage, however it lands. So you want to make sure you leave it. In the front, I basically do the same thing like how I did in the back. I usually do it diagonal and then I'll kind of opposite like V I guess up through the head just depending on where I think the hair is going to land. It's okay to get creative at this part and try different things. You're going to V it more whatever you want to do. I hope that there's something I can figure out in trying to teach balayage through foils or whatever the case is because I've been seeing a lot of people asking for help and they don't know how to follow YouTube tutorials. So if you guys have any advice on me they trying to help a little bit more, let me know. Maybe this is helpful, maybe it's not. I'm going slow too, so that way you can actually see what's happening. I know that sometimes when it's too sped up, it's like, well, what the heck is going on? So <laughs> just keep watching, let me know if it's helpful, and if it's not, that's fine too. So I had a lot of fun doing this, to be honest, and I love making videos, so I win all day.
chunky weave on my horizontal slice so you are more than welcome like I said to play around then I teased it this is just going to give a little bit more dimension and depth in the hair so that it just wasn't all bright and blonde she still ended up very blonde anyways it's the haircut it's an awkward awkward haircut it's like feathers and a mullet so obviously this would have been way more fun on like a really nice doll head but I haven't yet bought one pivot point I think has really good ones that has long long hair already so just in case you guys are looking for a good doll hand, that's where you can look. Basically, you want to start at the front, weave it back. You can choose to do either section. It's up to you. And then you basically apply. It's baby light weave, whatever you want to call it. They're kind of the same thing. Maybe baby lights are just really, really micro weaved. So kind of tailor it to your client and see what they need. She's got such light hair that it was totally fine the way I did it. This is awesome. You can also tease it as well. So again, depending on what you've got going on, just apply, apply, apply away. <laughs> I'm so tired, I don't know why, but <laughs> anyways, apply our way. Again, up to you. This is your time to be creative. I started teasing it as I got, got further back, and I think I just I think this was one. I don't know if I did it all the way up. So now we check some foils and see how light we're getting. This is like around 20 to 30 minutes on, I think, or something like that. So I did leave it 10 more minutes. I basically left it on after 40 on accident I started watching a movie with my kids so whoopsies but again not even a real client no worries no worries guys and I took this guy back here gosh I'm just so obsessed I think I'm gonna start using this lightener I currently am using a different one but I really want to give this a go on another client and see what I get out of it Aisha what are you saying silly boy my little boy wanted to come help me edit huh say hi hey. yeah say hi I love you, kid. Bye. Uh oh, don't push that one. Curl job was a little funky. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I just, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, the haircut, the haircut, the haircuts, kind of you know throwing us off a little bit. I dimmed down the lighting just a smidge just so you can see like actual like the root effect and everything. I didn't tone her. I just kind of wanted to see what it looked like. I think I even forgot to put conditioner because I wasn't sure if I was going to tone and root smudge. But I wanted to show you guys without all of that first. And I think I need to get a new doll head to be able to really practice and then make some videos for you guys. But let me know in the comments down below what you thought. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.